guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I just wanted to come on with a message today. I felt really guided to. I do feel like this could be a message from your ancestors, or as well, they're saying passed on loved ones that are here to guide you. Now, in terms of that passed on loved ones as well, these aren't necessarily ancestors. I tried to record this a few times, and I wanted to do it in a way it was hard to get my emotion is hard to come through right now and it's hard to explain um, exactly the feeling that they've given me other than they're kind of reminding me of sort of the interconnectedness of you know our lives with other people that have been in our worlds first off but also of um, a friend who passed away in high school and I mean I it's been a really long time since that situation happened but <clears throat> excuse me it's also my great grandmother's birthday today she's passed away years and like years and years ago but today is my friend's anniversary so if you watch this girlfriend happy anniversary happy birthday it's your future birthday this is such a strange energy guys I'm sorry but for all my subscribers, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. Um, as well as if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If this feels like it's yours and it resonates, please hit subscribe during this journey with me. I'd love to have you along the ride. If it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be yours and that's okay too, right? So I'm just going to take a moment and show you the cards. I'm going to call in spirit and ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my team of light, um, any of your spirit guides or my spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective, I ask them to join us to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it as well as to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages for the farthest good, for the farthest, the highest good of all of us, for the most far of reaching of these messages. And um, oh, some of you guys may be a baby. Or it's your baby. This kind of makes sense where there's these feelings now because um, for some of you, this is again, we want the messages for the highest good. For some of you, there's they're, they're giving me a couple, okay? And it's going to get, like, super triggering, so I just want to say. But you have her golden grace with goddess Lakshmi and Dendric, a gate. So this is the crystal mandala oracle. And we also have goddess Hectate and Micah, the crossword of destiny. So this past life thing, this could be the past in this lifetime. It could be something that you were working through, kind of like the karma and stuff. For some of you, you may have had a child with, and um, experienced kind of unrequited love situation with, you know, the, you know, your your ex, or if it's your ex, right, that there's still a lot of feelings of that. For some of you, this is having someone, um, it's kind of giving me like, okay, young mom vibe, but somebody who wasn't really emotionally available and there's stuff coming up from that into this lifetime okay i want to we'll get more into this because i do feel like there's more to this but i feel also like right now this could be two separate issues this could be a brand new idea i feel like this this crossroads of destiny as well as if you're about to become a new parent this is a journey, my friends, and it's beautiful, and it is, get your sleep, right? Get your sleep, do what you can, prepare ahead, because it really is a journey, and it is a crossroads. This going in from singlehood to familyhood, it's a, it's a big change. And it's also about, you know, taking care of someone else, right? It's hard when, especially at the beginning, when you are needed so much to find your you time right so i want to pull some tarot and then i'm going to get a little bit of a reading out of this card for some healing and they want me to read her golden grace 
So this would make sense why it was the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I was looking at a whole bunch of decks, thinking of other things I wanted to use. And uh, this is what it is. I apologize. I feel very like it's, it's not a somber mood. I'm getting a somber mood here. When I thought about my friend, it wasn't... It, I, I mean, it hurt. It hurt for a minute, right? It was that moment again of just realizing because it's been such a long time since this this person left my world, right? We have the Ace of Swords here. This is a new thought, new memory for some of you. They're showing me, okay, this it's the crown. It's the crown. It's yours. And it's this understanding of your anointing, I think, in a way, too. It's not just about an anointing, though. This almost reminds me a bit of this one. This Crossroads of Destiny with Hectate, too. Maybe very strong goddess energy to call in. For some of you, you are definitely... Um, could be having a baby or if you're planning on having a baby there could be some stuff that if you have been trying to have a baby this is what it's coming through and it hasn't happened yet it's because you may be currently working through some sort of incarnation at this time right now that we need to heal this part of us and we're doing this so that we can get ready and prepare so that we can be that more mature being more understanding more healed person so, Spirit, what messages do you have with this unrequited love? Give me some heard feedback. You have the Knight of Wands. You can have a lot of anger as well. Or somebody, a very passionate relationship, but it's in terms of the feeling situation, it's been one-sided. I do feel like there could be a lot of anger. This one wanted to flip out, but it wasn't the world, right? And it flipped back in. But I saw something, and I think that I'm going to keep it. Because I think what it has to do is, again, there's some cycles here that are not yet done. What I heard is the subject has not yet been broached. Um, King of... For some of you, I heard holy matrimony. Um, so for some of you, you could... This could be your marriage, right? That it's just... It wasn't what you planned or what you thought it was going to be, right? This this love wasn't what you thought love should be. And if you were young and had children and you realize this is this is what you think or you, you know, you're in the midst of baby raising, you could be dealing even with some of this from, you know, they said it's past life trauma, but it's stuff that's happened in this lifetime too, okay? Like I said, if it's not yours, it's not yours. The moon in reverse, we're in cancer season. But I also think that it's, I'm hearing it's because the path hasn't been illuminated to you yet. This, in the upright, it's so bright, it's showing you the way. But it feels like, you know, someone can tell you a million times. Like, it's like if you get confused, someone could tell you over and over again. But it's not going to make sense. It's the same way in this. And I think that this also I heard is some, it could be like you keep looking at it, whatever it is, okay, that needs to be changed. You keep looking at it and it won't allow the truth to be seen because there is a fallacy or there's an unhealed part of something. There's something attached here that as soon as it can be healed, like you're going to feel a weight off your shoulders and you're going to feel lighter in heart is what I heard as well. So we have here. Illusionary success with the Seven of Vessels or Seven of Cups in reverse as well. And I think it's also because if you now, you're analyzing potentially, you know, your past and analyzing your relationships, analyzing maybe things that what I heard is even if you, especially if this is something where, you know, you're in a relationship now, let's say, but if you have unhealed stuff from a past relationship, it's going to bleed or can bleed. It doesn't necessarily have to. But it can bleed into this, and it can bleed into this in silly little ways like, and I sh I'm not going to call them silly, I apologize, but little ways you seem it something where somebody says something or somebody makes a, a snicker or a facial expression that they're not trying, you know, to do, but you automatically assume it's them, like, 
putting down your ideas or putting you down because it's happened in another relationship, which can also cause fights because it leads to jumping to the gun and all this stuff. Well, here's where, okay, that's just an example, but you can insert issue, right? This is why it's like, well, there can't be any completions or new worlds. You're not going to stand here at the peace and at the gates of eternity. You're not, it's, that's basically what this is going, hell no, I'm not going to do this. Whatever is, I'm not going to stop for this for the rest of eternity. So this is your ancestors, my friends. This is messages coming through for some of you as well as I did here. Okay, this could be or have been some of your spirit guides, my friends. Could be um, if you've lost babies or um, if there was miscarriages or anything like that. It wasn't their time yet, okay? Um, and this, they're again, they're coming back and saying, this is why. Because if there's some unhealed stuff here that you you know this trauma, you don't want to hand it down to your babies, right? This is I'm not saying don't have kids. <laughs> but it's it's also where if you know there's some stuff here that you need to work on, you you need to make sure you go ahead and you do that first, right? Because in terms of this love here, our words have a lot they do a lot, right? They affect a lot in how people see each other, ourselves and each other and your thoughts. And if you're still kind of in a, a place that is in an unhealed way, it's just we don't want, whatever it is, you don't want people to feel less loved because of shit you're going through. Now, again, that's just for someone. That could be a very specific message. But I'm going to grab you the, and again, I feel like it's an uncomfortable message, okay? So, that also, like, I just feel uncomfortable. I, I'm i tongue-tied. Let's see her golden grace. 38, please. So, I'm going to show you this card. And it says, We bring you the empowerment of her golden grace. Divine Mother Lakshmi, who brings blessings of enlightenment and prosperity, beauty and good fortune smiles upon you now open your mind to the reality of divine generosity without limit open your heart to feel worthy of her love when you allow her to grant you beauty to bless you with her golden grace she is empowered to shine her divine beauty in the world to heal uplift inspire and enchant souls in need which i think is what you do my friends um I think for some of you, okay, I heard something and it keeps playing and then I'll say what it is. I don't know if this is going to mean anything, but somebody said they're not just going to hit it and quit it, right? So, or quit her. Those were the words. So, that's what I thought. So somebody also could kind of feel obligated for being in something or you know because there could be baby coming and I heard sirens outside so that's funny um but you know you're not tied or bound to anything her golden grace this is bringing beauty into the world and I think it's important though and they're, they're giving me another message before I do this especially if you are in a situation where you're going to have to co-parent it is possible to try and help each other, right, without, um, like, fights or animosity. And I was watching some lady, I don't know who it was, but she was talking about co-parenting and how her and her ex have decided they're going to have no contact for a while. They have an, an outside source who's willing to do the back and forth because they have been fighting way too much over the little things so that they're just, they're going to, you know, take a little breather from having to talk to each other, Right? Which, hey, focuses on the kids. There's less fights about everything else. And it's less stress on the kids as well is what I heard, okay? So getting out of that, that I feel like once that message was out, we can move on. So it says, The generous golden grace of the divine feminine has its own way of accomplishing its purpose to uplift, heal, and inspire the hearts of humanity. Where there is fear which presents the soul from being open and allowing life to happen... The Divine Mother may respond by wrenching whatever is obstructing the flow of love out of the way. 
If her fierce intervention is needed to ensure freedom for the soul, then it is what she expresses. Sometimes the harder path is what you truly, what will truly free a soul from needing to repeat a pattern. Sometimes, however, what the hardest path does not accomplish for the soul is not particular help, particularly helpful. If a soul would have would become more enslaved in fear at the prospect of her fierceness or could benefit as much or more from a softer intervention, then the universal method mother will employ a gentler method. The softer touch of the universal mother is the warming glow of her golden grace. This grace is powerful. It can evoke reaction too, sometimes gratitude and wonder, but sometimes giving rise to issues about receiving, self-worth, and even fear of prosperity. If you have come far enough on the spiritual path, you will know that love, even in its most gentle expression, will trigger the release of pain. The mind may desire the abundance, love, beauty, and prosperity of the divine goddess, Lakshmi, and yet upon being offered to the, the very thing that is desired, it can retreat in fear, doubt, and feelings of unworthiness. My friends, you are worthy. You are worthy. There is kindness in her golden grace. She offers the soul... She offers what the soul can receive. Her love stimulates growth and healing and can always with compassion. So just know here that if you're, I feel like a lot of this is giving yourself some compassion too, okay? Um, so let me find that again because I closed it. But I want to just say the end has a pretty good um, in, like incantation or healing process is what they would call it. And I find it works a lot. So if you wanted to, with me, um, we're going to take three deep breaths in. Okay, close your eyes, take your shoes off. And I want you to breathe in love and light and breathe out anything that is inauthentic to you or is not of light or love. So take a deep breath in. And out. Breathe in light and love and self-awareness and self-assuredness. You are unique. Breathe out anything that is not unique to you. Last breath in. Breathe in love and light and prosperity and abundance and joy and breathe out the anger, resentment and the fear and the feelings of unworthiness. When you're ready, open up your eyes. And um, it says, I just want you to listen to this, okay? I call upon the crystal angel of Tibetan... Well, that's tw Tibetan courts. Ha, <laughs> funny. I call upon the crystal angel of Dendrik Agate and the goddess Lakshmi, who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine healing of empowerment of her golden grace. I open my heart, my mind, and my soul to the generosity of your grace. I allow your gentle divine glow to flow unimpeded through me, opening me to receive and become a channel for your love to enter the world. Through unconditional love and my own free will, so be it. So if you guys want to take your hands and just put it kind of just under your belly button, Take a breath in, and then you can repeat after me or ask that this energy flow through for you. I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to release any guilt, shame, fear, or doubt about receiving. I release the fear that would have me hold in rather than open up. I choose to gently soften and release any express experiences and related belief systems based on not deserving and being unworthy to receive. May all beings be blessed by the divine to become able to receive all they need to be happy and free. Through divine empowerment and unconditional love, so be it. If you wanted to take your hands together in prayer, may divine love bring the unlimited flow of golden grace into the world 
according to unconditional love and in service to the divine feminine wisdom evolving through humanity at this time. So be it. And this is one I think you should repeat after me three times, and I'm going to end it because I think this is going to help heal, and it really is a crossroads to destiny once this is healed, or it's whatever this energy of this process starts. I am filled with the endless golden grace of Lakshmi as she shines her love and generosity through me into this world. I am filled with the endless golden grace of Lakshmi as she shines her love and generosity through me into the world. I am filled with the endless, by the endless golden grace of Lakshmi as she shines her love and generosity through me into the world. My friends, you can help so many people. Healing yourself and going through that journey or this journey, because we don't, we're always on it, right? Taking the road ahead all the time, it's path. If you're angry about something or something comes up, experience it. What was the emotion? What is it tied to? And what's going on? What can I do? We want to learn ways to experience this anger in healthy ways and figure out why we're being triggered by it as well. Because honestly, I do feel like the world kept turning, but they're like, it's it's all, it's, it's, it's time, right? New mentalities, new mindsets, getting rid of stuff, it's going to help. And this really could even be like your infancy, so to speak, because we're being reborn. Okay? that a lot of this stuff that you've had to go through, this is the birthing canal, and you're finally kind of coming out here. And what I find is what I heard is like being taken care of and like nurtured. And this is also how can you nurture yourself? What would you do? Are you fed? Have you bathed? Are you, you know, do you need snuggles? Do you need human contact? What do you need to, to be good right now? So that's the message I have. I hope it resonated. I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.